that makes sense for this map uh, for Cass because uh, we did win, but I just wanted to know like if there's anything I could have done to make the round e even you know if I could have made the game easier on myself. Well, was yeah, my positioning sure, good? Sure. Yeah. Was I taking advantage of all the sightlines that I could have taken advantage of? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like it's always the case of like you know doing well, but there's all you could always you could always do better. Um, I just DC'd there. Oh boy. Oh, did you DC? I, I yeah, I just DC'd. Um, oh. <laughs> fortunate. Uh, okay. Uh, what's going on? Nice. Let me stop watching that. <laughs> Uh, I'll just re-screen share, hang on. Uh, this actually has happened sometimes before, like one or two times this happens, um, and normally it's, it's fine. So we'll see, hopefully nothing goes wrong here, my wife has been fine. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, I see. Green shot. Okay. Um, you can see that, right? Can you uh, see this? Yes, I can. Okay. Cool. Cool. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I was gonna say, um, like there's, there's been cases where you know pe people have done well in games, but obviously there's things that you could do better. So. I mean, this is a seven seven minute game, so Yay. Yay. Considering you're you're equal right now and your honor's gone, um this is okay right now, just like shooting shooting down here. There's not too many rotations you can take as of the moment. And obviously you don't know what comp these guys are running. Um the one thing I will say on this map specifically is that if you go through white, um, I often don't like this because um, there's just not many rotations you can do if you are, you, and your, you and your team come through here. Like it's very like restricted, it's very linear. Um, the only flanks you can really take are to your left and to your right side, whereas this is a lot more open. Um, there's doji you can play around, there's a pillar as well, there's point as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see where you go from here. Um, yeah. Okay, so I will say this is a small thing. I haven't really talked about this much with you, but um, it's just it's just basic corner discipline. Um, like you swinging out here quite wide onto the zen here and not even landing the shots, whereas you could just, yeah. just be playing a little bit tighter. Like I I had a scrim, I, I played for a team and I coached them as well, um, and we literally lost a, a, an entire map because my Cassidy swung out over overtly wide and then he got one shot by a Hanzo. Um, or you got damage, you got headshot by the Cassidy and then body shot by the Hanzo or something like that. Um, but yeah, it, like even like this small, small minute difference of just like moving to the left a little bit more, um, is will really make a big difference. And honestly, the Zen honor, um, if your fire wasn't pushing right now, then you know you'd be cooked. Like one discord body shot can really you know affect how aggressive you can be. Um, yeah. So yeah, the only time you should be playing wide like this is if you're looking to rotate across, um, and roll across and then trying to look to initiate a duel into the uh, the soldier here, which honestly you could do. Um, you've got cover here, you've still got your nade, uh, and at this kind of range, the soldier doesn't really like fighting you here. Um, and you know, your nade is also still pretty good, even after the nerf. So we'll see, we'll see what happens here. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's then just like, yeah, whatever. Nice. Awareness is zero. Yeah, literally zero <laughs> awareness. Like, he should, he should either be playing in dojo, or like, when his, um, when his tank's walking forwards. Um, actually, yeah, he should probably be staying here, then like, we're looking to rotate through here, maybe. Um, but yeah, I don't know why he's rotating like out in open space like that. Um, yeah, wasn't even aware of the shots that you missed onto him, anyways. Yeah, here I'd be looking to walk forward. Like I like, where should you move to from here? I was either. Well, I think I. I don't know where I'm. I think I moved to dojo because that's dojo, where I yeah. normally move yeah. to, especially if I if we don't have point control or I move backwards because well my tank died. Yeah, Farah died. Makes sense. Makes sense. I didn't want to. I didn't want to just sit there and feed because then uh, we're at an ult charge disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Well, my that, that tank and Marana just died, so <laughs> neither one of them are near twenty percent. But the majority of their team is. Um, I think that I, I think that if I would have moved towards the dojo just a little sooner after I killed that Zen, I was gonna say yeah. It was a, 
chance yeah. I could have saved my tank. Um, I mean, I think it's, still probably would have died, but you know. I think it's less <laughs> so about saving your tank, and it's more so about um, looking at the trades that are going both sides. Um, because right now, like, sure, your tank dies, um, and I think your honor got javelin off the map here. But the trades are also equal, also equal on both sides. I think you guys got an early pick onto the honor, um, and then with concussive blast, and then you obviously you kill the Zen here. Um, not to mention you also get pocket onto you as well. Uh, yeah, you also get a mercy pocket here, right? Which means you should be able to take any advantageous duel in your favor right now. Um, so like after you kill the Zen here, I, you, yeah, you, you guys got the back. You get yeah, yeah, the honor kill back here as well. Um, I'd be walking forward here. I would 100% rotate across to the dojo. My mercy can come with me, and I would be looking to push and take this duel. You even land a few shots into the soldier here too, right? Like, like he's literally one HP. You know he's one HP. You, you just you just shot him. Yeah. Right? He's not going to be looking to fight you anytime soon. So you can actually like like you've earned it, right? Like you can take this map control. Like you flush out the soldier by shooting him with, with the pockets, and you also clear out the Zen. Like you you've earned the ability to walk forward, right? Even if your team are died, even if your jungle queen is dead there. Um, so like I would be definitely be looking here to, to push and take this angle, um, control this part of the map here, um, maybe even confirm the kill into the soldier and certainly zone up the Cassidy, especially considering both supports are dead, and then you can just clean up and get the the, the OVs afterwards. Um, not to mention, what, what the fuck is your visa gonna do about you know these two over here? Um, just got no mobility yeah. basically. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, and a little bit, you, need to, you can even see that Cassidy like he's he's scared like he wants none of that smoke. Um, and neither does the soldier too. So like you could definitely be looking to push here, right? Maybe even rotate through here and then like get a sight onto the Cassidy. Right? He's got no cover here, and then look to push and get on, get onto the soldier here. Um, even if like worst case scenario, the mercy doesn't come with you. Um, she wants to stay back, whatever. Um, you've also got mega to, to play around. So yeah, I would have definitely aggressed there. Um, yeah. Little little like that. I did get a little nervous because I didn't want to just get, you know... It makes sense, yeah, like, and then... yeah, yeah. Um, I will say, like, against, if you're playing against something like a Somber Tracer, or even, even if the Zen's still alive, um, doing that rotation into, into Dojo becomes significantly more risky, because they have, they are, it's, it's like, it's Tracer, Sombra, they have more mobility and are e easily able to pounce onto you, even if they've got Ball and Diva too. Um, <laughs> whereas, you know, if you're playing against a more immobile comp, um, you're more able to um, hard flank and take deeper angles like that um, without fear of anybody chasing you. Okay. Well, there are rest of her extends again. Yeah, she's, she's just... yeah, yeah. She needs to wait for her honor to come back right now. I don't know what she's doing. Um, yeah. And she just dies as a result. So she feeds. And that, again, <laughs> the, that, the cover thing, right? Like, I said this before. Yeah. Right, but like literally, literally, like not to mention, I, I'd, be, I'd even be saying to you right now, you should rotate through here, then look to get an angle onto here, maybe, um, instead of playing the same angle as your jungle queen. Um, but like, if you're playing this cover here or playing this this angle, I should say, like look how wide. I you wouldn't. Spring. Like, like you, you yeah. spring, you, your way, your entire hitbox is exposed here, whereas you could just be literally one step to the right, right, and then you can still shoot the Cassidy, right, even a little bit here, and then you can still get a sight onto these guys here too. Um, so like literally just the smallest of details will, especially when you, when you, when you start, when you're going to start climbing past Master and GM, cover usage is really going to matter. Um, so yeah, and the stuff like that will, will just happen, so, yeah. It's a very small thing, but it happens all the time. Sad too, because you guys do actually get the kill there onto the Cassidy, so. But yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, you guys kept that. Yeah, cover there, and also I would I probably would have rotated through do through dojo. Like again, either take this angle or even come through here and take this angle here too, and then corner corner like juggle jiggle peek, and then you'll, yeah. you'll be fine, right? Then you've got the mega behind you as well. Okay. Counting that Ariza from range. That nade is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, that I was like, I'm not going to test my luck against that. Because, I, I mean, as a Zen player, yeah. I've done it to people. Yeah. That makes sense, that makes sense. It's just getting 5 up around the corner, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. It's nice when you're on the other end of it, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Like this I like, this is actually quite nice because these guys are rotating out in open space right now, which means you should be able to like, maybe, probably not get a kill here, but definitely get some good value, maybe force nade, force sleep, th things like that, um, maybe even force, uh, what's his name, what's his thing, um, the heal pads, things like that, um, so yeah, I like yeah. this angle, this is fine, um, I'd probably be saying that this is a little bit too out of your range, like if you're playing Hanzo here, I'd say like this is, this would be more appropriate. So I'd be playing here a little bit more, and then again, just using this cover and this corner to juggle, juggle peek and put pressure onto the Zen and onto the Casty when they rotate. Here, this is this is fine, right? unless you're like specifically trying to get the honor there, which is you know. Imagine if you were here was, a little bit earlier. Like, I was just trying to, I was just trying to like get a different angle from the rest of my team, so that if they did look at me, it's one less thing that my team is not going to get by. Yeah. But like my the cast literally the turned cast around. Literally turned around and shot you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And so he's like the and plus they're no longer looking at like my Farah, or you yeah, know, yeah. Like my Farah's doing her own thing, but you know, their Arissa hit dangerous levels of low, mm, and sure. that's just like an extra, like, oh shit, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, I mean, he's gonna support me, and I mean, I'll do it myself, like, I'll be like, oh shit, my, my tank just like hit dangerous levels of low, I gotta like, you know, hustle, yeah, 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 but for sure. That's the one thing that like I've taken from being a support player is uh, the mentality, what it looked like for tanks being alive. Just how much like it means that when they do die, like how badly it can reset you. Mm. I mean, losing a DPS is one thing, but losing a tank, you gotta like literally reset the entire fight. For sure. Because yeah. you, you're at such a big disadvantage. Because it's no longer look yeah. at the big guy. I take I take this left side after I, we I think we kill the Arisa, or she gets very low. Yeah, you kill her. Yeah, I, I do yeah. kill her. Yeah. I was gonna say like yeah, just go left side because this is like, the only rotations you can do are just. Um, <laughs> left, left, or right, and then yeah, of course you're close to the left side, so you take that one. Um, but yeah, this is why like white room fights are so kind of boring, um, especially if you're playing hit scan. Um, like if you're playing a flanker, then I, you know, you'd be playing like Echo Genji, uh, Trace or Sombra, thing like that. Um, mm -hmm. you could actually take her on here, but like you, you just can't realistically do that on Cassidy, unfortunately. Um, so, so yeah. I would say that Risa isn't very good though. Yeah, somehow this is the top like. 90, like the, not, the top 9% of Masters 5. I don't know how, how that works. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Maybe about inflation, who knows. Okay. That was very unfortunate. That, that yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> that stuck her. It didn't kill her, but it did get her. Okay. I was kind of hoping it would kill the Zen. But. Mm. Okay. Let's see how you use High Noon here. Actually, I don't even think I use it this round. I don't think they ever get the point again. Interesting. Because <laughs> I think we just we just keep them here. Because mm. their bashing comes out, but like he just never walks. Like and every time he does, he just ends up dying. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. Because I think well, I don't think my aunt Anna needs him here, but I try to focus him as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got hit by that. Mm. I try to focus Bastion out of the. If I see him like in turd form and he's not shooting me, I try to shoot him if, as long as he's not getting healed, obviously. Yeah. But if I see him getting healed, I'm, I'm not going to shoot him because that's just pointless damage. Yeah, I know. Um, but mean, yeah. because if if the if the bastion's gone, my tank can do more, and then I can do more because there's not a there's not a big big chance of me just getting obliterated. Yeah. Compared to if I get Zen Orb, that's different. And that, and that's me just being negligent of corners, and not you know just oh, <laughs> bastion just shot me for like half a second. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it, it's still being negligent with corners, but it takes off the pressure as well because my tanks isn't worried about like oh, just getting absolutely melted just mm -hmm. for peeking. For sure. I mean, I will say like against Bastion, um, it is gen like your teams will t will typically be either match. I mean, you guys had Nana Boost and Queen out there, so you guys matched. Um, but it's not uncommon, especially in neutrals, for you guys to play passive when the Bastion's in total form, like, and you guys give up some space there. Um, but you're right, like, he just didn't push in, um, and you are right to shoot him, especially when he's not getting healed, or, like, if you can't see the healers, um, because he is by far probably the most dangerous person on the team. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, if we had more time, I could show you a Bastion uh, game that we did during the scrim. It was on King's Row. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't know, say... did you have an hour after this? Um, I, oh god, I'm planning to stream at half, oh, I'm, I'm in the UK, it's currently 5.15, um, so we oh, end up, wow. yeah, um, so I was planning to stream at half six, then I do some on-stream coaching for some people, um, okay. but, but yeah, like, yeah, um, yeah. Because that was very interesting, um, uh, because I went Basha first, because they were, uh, I think we're on defense, 
we were on defense. I was like, you know, Bastion's a good pick. I've mm-hmm. seen it happen. I haven't seen it in a tournament, obviously, but I've seen it happen in ranked, and it's worked a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think that if I can... Yeah, he didn't manage his cooldown here very well, I'll be honest. Like, he just... I think he pops his Bastion form and then gets zero value with it. Mm. I mean, in fairness, the Diva has to touch, so she's inting in right now. And you can just see her HP just, like, just get deleted in the top right. <laughs> um, Superior. Then Zen gets knocked. Yeah, this is this is scuffed. Um, don't even need to use your ultimate here, honestly. Yeah. I don't, that's just why I don't think I used it because yeah. I just never had to. So yeah, not yeah yeah. Actual. So that tank wasn't very good there. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, and that map generally speaking isn't fitted to, especially the white room isn't fitted to do angles and rotations for you. Um, yeah. I mean the biggest things there were just some small. Rotations that at the beginning, especially in the dojo, um, and some corner usage stuff. Okay. okay. Night markets, okay. I will say, um, when we get onto the team stuff, I always say this with teams, with Bastion as well. Um, bad teams always use the Bastion because he's kind of a skill check hero. Like, if all, all, because he's very predictable in terms of like his cycles and whatnot. Um, mm-hmm. What comps do you guys play Bastion in, out of, out of curiosity? No, that was just kind of like, not a troll map, but like, King's Row is one of our stronger maps. Yeah, um, okay. So, like, we just I just asked to run it just to see, like, because we were running Reinhardt, May, uh, Lucio, mm, and then, mm, uh, yeah. I think it was Bap. Um, so, like, I knew that if we did run it, it wouldn't be like, oh, they're running something that's, you know, broken. Or, you know, that's super unplayful. Like, un- you can't play into it because... I mean, obviously they did. They did. They didn't beat us, but they did. You know, beat us a couple team fights because I misused my, you know, my turret form, and or I wasn't in the right place at the right time, and they just got a better wall than we did. And you know, it happens. And that's. But I will say that I did have. I think I used my turret form a little bit better than the enemy Bastion did, which is the reason why we did win. You guys both were Bastion. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not strictly because of me, but I think oh, that okay. that was what played into it because. I was getting their supports. <laughs> mm. I was getting their supports in May every time. Yes, yeah, so um, in this comp matchup here, um, your job is mainly just pound that Wenderson before he dives in, like make the dive yeah. messy, make his bubble messy, um, which is exactly what you do here. Um, and also try and look for short sight lines and some rotations um, after the Wenderson dives onto these guys. Um, all these guys, I should say. Um, but you will see, yeah, you will see, like, when their Wenderson just pops bubble from, from Choke. So you know he has a bubble, you drop, that's fine. Toss in the nade, it sticks into him, I think. Yeah, and then he can't move. You get some good damage into him, and yeah, he has to jump away. So, yeah, just bad. Actually, that was bad cover usage there onto the Winston. Got his bubbles, uh, bubble forced early, and his HP has just got, got, got obliterated. So, yeah, couldn't dive in there at all. This rotation is nice. Really like to see this. All right, nice. All right, really good rotation. You can keep going, right? Where can, where can you move to? Where can you move to from here? I could go further left and get the Zenyatta. Yeah, since right. he's. Uh, get hanging more towards like the mega. Yeah, and the, you're also, you guys are one up too as well, so yeah. Ooh. I didn't stick up to him, unfortunately. Um, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, here you could have actually, like, if I go and zoom out, um, like, look at the Zen. Like, he's literally, he, he doesn't care about, like, he's not looking at this direction at all. Um, so you could have definitely, like, one or two tapped him. Um, with some other little forward spam as well. Um, yeah, unfortunate. He's literally so free here. Like he's actually charge. He's actually busy charging up his orbs, and he took some random <laughs> mass damage as well. Like two shots here, and he's cooked. Um, so yeah, miss miss rotation there. And it's also it's... really important too as well because when you're playing against dive, um, like if I'm if I'm this Winston right now, like this one's terrible. But like if I'm this Winston right now and I see you here, like I'm 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 jumping your ass right because you're relatively easy for, for me to kill. Um, you're yeah. also playing a very aggressive angle compared to the rest of your entire team. Um, like if I'm this Winston or even Sigma, right? Like I- I'm tossing a shield your way. I'm jumping you. So it's really, really important that up like, when you put the time, like as you do right now, and when attention's being split and cooldowns are you know being traded and whatnot, that you are having to take like a rotation. I mean, look at the mercy, man. Like holy shit. Um, but yeah, yeah like you could have easily gone both supports. Here. Um, so yeah, yeah. Just ha- when you have the time, do it. Um, so, yeah, unfortunate. Now you get spammed out, right? Yeah, and then you're playing a bit wide, and you take uh you take a random stray from a cash shot, I think. Um, I could have gone orb there too, so 
that Winston just isn't very good, but against a better Winston, expect to be jumped, right? And then you have to you either yeah. move back early. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I should have grabbed that Mega. Oh no, actually I get healed here, but I think you should go on Mega, yeah. And then I lost that, that You didn't know where he was, right? Which we could argue about like, you know, sound and things like that, but look at the cover here. Yeah. Right, you're playing you're standing right in the open. Yeah, right, like you look how far you are away from this corner, right? Um, whereas if you're standing, if your character model is like here, right, it's a lot easier for you to just roll out and get healed back by your honor, right, and then you're fine. Um, but yeah, very unfortunate there. Well, I, I, say, I will say you kind of got out mechanic there, but you know, again, that's why corner usage is so important. Mm. Um, the second time you die because of it, actually. There you go, Rez. You can also, like, if the Winston does, doesn't, like, if you're playing here, right, with your honor, um, or even, like, roughly here-ish, right, and the Winston decides to jump your honor, you know he hasn't got jump, and you know you can actually, like, rotate more aggressively, um, because the entire enemy team are going to be looking at your honor, um, and not you, so you could actually go for an aggressive rotation there, um, if the Winston jumps your honor, that is. Okay. Okay. I don't mind you guys playing point here, like point side. Um, it burns both time of the clock. These guys have to come to point eventually, and then you can actually like play co side, right? And then if you go, you zoom out, zoom out that person, right? This is actually really, really nice. Um, you've got multiple rotations you can make, um, and you can again have that mini pack for you as well. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Point because I put my put myself in a very sticky situation there. Mm. It's just not a place I I could go like forward. Without getting shot by the entire team, mm, I get you. But there also wasn't like it's awkward. I didn't want to force it either. Yeah, yeah. Now, truthfully, I don't know how that didn't stick that mercy. Like, did it not? <laughs> Wait, hang on. <laughs> That's what I'm is. saying. Hang on. Did this the shield? So I hit her. I shot her. What I had seen twice. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm the always oh, the fucking. Oh, it's a healing pad. What the, the hell? It's a healing pad, yeah. That's <laughs> actually crazy. Yeah. I've never seen that. Like, <laughs> That's actually really uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I thought you know, I shot her in the head, too. And I was like, hmm, she should have died there. She 100%, yeah. Yeah, that was a dumbass of us. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We don't... That didn't happen. <laughs> Again, like, you're out here in open spaces. Right? I can and see I roll, just... and I, my only ability to get out of get out, there. Yeah, and he just misses the shots. Like, he literally, because of his POV, he just misses the shots. Um, which keeps you alive. So, how many shots does he miss here? Oh, Donna, so, it hits you. That's collateral there. Um, this is one, two. Reloads. Okay, so yeah, he misses two shots there. But yeah, he could have, like, killed you that easily. Um... Yeah, unfortunate. Sinoon, I don't mind it, but again, I want it with cover, right? Like, just back off to, like, even here, right? And then you can at least jiggle peek if you need to. Um, or even here as well, right? And you can, again, jiggle peek if you need to. Let's say you're completely out in the open. This guy with the pocket can dink you. Um, even Ana, if she's pushed up a little bit more, um, can also sweep you, nade you, like, so, yeah, exactly right, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I would just be a little bit more careful. I felt like I baited it a little bit. Great, but like, I feel like I did it, not in perfect timing, but because I, I knew that my Junker Queen had just gotten nanoed. Like, mm -hmm. I knew my jig, my Junker Queen was standing in front of me. I didn't know that she got nanoed, so I'm not gonna claim that I did, but I know that she was standing there. So, like, if they were to look at me, they would have to have a look at her first. Mm, yeah, because if they yeah. don't look at her and they look at me instead, they're giving away to, to they're giving away to someone that can just instantly kill them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the combo for Junker Queen is insane. Exactly, yeah. It's like it's like between you know, rock and hard place. Like, do I look at the queen who just got nanoed, or do I look at the Cassidy and um and yeah. I noon? I mean, because who knows? I mean, she had old, so like, yeah, what? Yeah. You know, what kept her from not using it? Mm. Okay, yeah, not not gonna lie, that's just not much to, to say. That fights. Um, they. I mean, again, a bit of cover here from the soldier early on. I think uh, when he rotates the high grounds. Anytime now. Anytime now, anytime now, anytime now, anytime, there we go. Right, again, a little bit wide, right? Like one helix, like that helix is coming straight at your ass and you're 120 HP. Um, so, yeah. A little bit kind of closer. 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, your forest has her own off angle, your queen's holding close to choke, and then you've got like a, um, if I zoom out, you guys have kind of got like a, uh, not a pincer, but like a multiple angles onto the choke here, and then farmer sees like on the high ground here. It's really hard to exit this, um, and the soldier just like, again, time, like, at times pressure too early, so he gets cleared out by the pharmacy. Um, so yeah, nothing too much to say there, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. So like that fight, or that, that game, honestly, a few, that was, that was probably the best game out of the ones that you've shown me, like, over the past few yeah. weeks. Um, aim, mechanics have also been quite better, honestly, too. Um, but like, yeah, cover each there and mid-fight rotations are still key. Um, especially their first fights, like, you guys can clean that up easily. Um, by you just flanking through the left side and getting on, picks onto the supports. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how. Um, obviously, your, 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 your rotations are getting better though. Um, but we'll see yeah. how your widow and Sombra are. V Y P P C E Elios. Okay. <laughs> do you know what Saudi Arabia did on Elios? I no, I haven't watched. I, haven't, I honestly no 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 words to lie. I have not watched the World Cup like literally at all, apart from like UK games, and that's it. Um, because I'm that's British. It. But yeah. So uh, that we we did what they did. What did they do? Uh, so they went like the comp that we have right now. This is the comp that they ran on uh, uh, pretty much every map. Okay. Um, okay. but well, see, Drago is not a far player. Like he's not a far main. He could play far. He's just not the best in the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Um, yeah. and we were, I was just this was just kind of like a we can do this. Uh, this was like late at night, and I had not warmed up yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I hadn't worn up on Widow. I warmed up on every other character except this one. Right. I only had uh, I could, had just gotten off of uh, work, mm. and I only had like ten minutes to warm up. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I okay. So with yeah, with uh Widow here, I'll ex quickly explain. Also, I, I'll couple in Sombra here too. Um, Widow isn't like her complexity starts uh, in the uh, Widow jewels, um, which as you can see here. Um, and the key thing is to make sure that the the jewels you do take are in your favor. Um, as you know, I'm pretty sure you know this from just Cassidy in general, but 90% yeah. of the jewels you win are not mechanical based. Um, they are mm. based on like things like pockets, like these are different types of advantages, um, positional, um, so that can be like high ground, um, cover as well is really important, um, that can be CD based, um, do you enter the jewel with full HP, um, and a really big one is repositional, um, slash repositional. That's rotational, right? So, which basically means, like, taking rotation um, to where you are unscouted and they don't know where you are. So, for example, um, say the far, or not also the far, sorry, the Widowmaker is, like, poached somewhere. It's hard to know to know now with, the, like, the Widow changes, or with the fall off, because you can't play this back eye grounds. But, like, if she's playing, I don't know, somewhere here, maybe, and she knows you're here, then either dropping down and staying out of her LOS, and then maybe, like, rotating through here, and then taking an angle here and catching her off guard um, is really key. Right, like maybe like the the widow bit, the widow maker is busy shooting your uh, your your flower or like even your diva, um, and then you at that meantime take a different angle and catch her off guard. That's like a really really key thing. Um, grapple is also really important. Um, grapple shots here are great. Like you can just grapple up this pillar or this pillar, probably this one, so you can land back on high grounds. Um, yeah, those those can like really throw off the widow maker's aim too. So yeah, those are like there's so many different advantages that you can take here in terms of widow jewels that even though like you are uh, you came up from work and you know you're not warmed up, um, I yeah. still would think that like most of the jewels aren't going to be uh, mechanical based here. Um, as for like everything else, uh, don't forget it's really really simple, but just don't forget to use your venom mine. Like just, just like right now, like just place it here, mm. right? Like just place yeah. it there. Like whether the echo like comes up and tries to fight you. The Winston jumps you, like, whatever happens, um, you just have it on, on cooldown there. Um, really simple. Um, Emphasite is also really simple. Just use it when the fight begins or you're about to peak. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah, rotation still seem the same, obviously. I, I mentioned rotations there just, like, two minutes ago. Um, but obviously, just not for that was, like, specifically to Widowmaker, but they apply to any hero in the game. Um, so we'll see what, what, what happens there. Yeah, I did not use my be honest i have been getting better using it in ranked just i don't know why it slipped my Please, mind just, right just, here just, just like just, reloading right now you're not even peeking just press like, e and then just chuck it yeah 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 it would have saved me here because um 
Winston would take an extra damage. Mm, like he literally just he, like he literally like an extra seventy or so. And maybe it just sucks with the armor, armor something. Like, so maybe like 50, da 50 damage. But it just like any damage you can take, it helps. Um, but yeah, I, I will say for you guys, um, in terms of the comp matchup here, is it similar? It is um uh, kind of ish. So yeah, your guys' job here is basically again just to pound the Winston so that when he jumps in, um, it's a very messy dive. Like he's jumping in right now on how much HP? Uh, uh, 400 HP right now, which is okay, not the worst thing in the world. He's not jumping on 500 HP, but you would like him jumping up right now with like no armor. Um, so so yeah, like maybe even the the Echo takes a body shot here too. Like actually, your farm your farm has actually been doing quite well. Like this Echo can't peek here and can't join the dive because she's losing HP. Right? Which is exactly what you want. So the pre-fight phase is the most important phase for your comp. Um looking to get body shots is really, really important onto the the, the Echo. Um even the enemy Widowmaker and looking to get heads onto the Winston here too are also really really important. Um so yeah actually I want to see what your pharmacy play here. Um this is a scrim. Uh yeah, this is this is great. Yeah, this is great, right? Because if, if your father, if you're playing here and the father's playing right side, like they they can't hide from the damage at all, uh, which explains yeah. why like these guys take so much poke damage early on. Um, so yeah, you guys got a good setup here, all right? So you should live this, I hope. Uh, yeah, I'm, no, I die here. My diva uh, didn't. Uh, like even after the game, uh, that was one of the things that uh, EC was talking about. He's like, I could have, like after this map, he was like, I could have saved you a little bit more. Uh, not saved me, but I could have do. I mean, not just that, right? But like, I'm, I'm wanting, I'm wanting like your, your, what's your honor? Um, your, your widow, your diva, your diva should, should be mirroring the Winston right now, sitting on top of the Winston. Um, hell, you even your honor should be throwing cross shots your way. Even the mercy should be flying to you. Um, we should hopefully buy enough time for you to like get heals. Um, so you shouldn't really die here, honestly. Yeah, right, and of course you, you have no grapple because you usually get to high ground. So, uh, I'm a bit unfortunate there from your team. Okay. See, there's like no way you should be dying to a solo Winston dive. Like that's, that can't be happening. You get vested though, so. Yeah. Just... My only thing is like I can't ever see that echo like when she's in the brush, and it's There's just. The tree, yeah. That's the only problem like I don't like about this map for any of the flyers. It's like we're not Jesus Christ. Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> we got we got we got to skip forward a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you can't be missing these shots until a scope did. Yeah, that was so easy too. Like I told myself like after I missed the one like if Kajora had seen this. He would have been disappointed as all hell, bro, just like, I, bro, what are you bro. doing? Your cross is it's literally on her head right now, and you saw some of it. <laughs> like, bro, Dude, come on. I don't know. I didn't flick off. Like, oh, I swear man. to God. I clicked on her, I was like, hold up, she didn't die? Yeah, that's, that's, then I was like, that's not great. That's just tragic. Ugh. Yeah, I think I die here to the west. No, oh, should live should live You're fine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I died to the Echo. Yeah, Maybe. Should... That kind of kill there is exactly what you need for your team. Like, that should have happened first fights. Um, yeah. Hmm. I just want to die. Ooh, I, I probably, okay, yeah, when I see this Echo here, I probably wouldn't grapple here. Um, Echo's really, like, it's almost like far right in a way, like, in, in terms of, like, she's diving. Like, if, if you actually land here, right, um, even if you carry, like, you swing your momentum and you jump over here, um, you're cooked. I'm, I ain't, I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Um, she's gonna headshot you with, with her try shots and then beam you, so... Yeah, I just a little bit more awareness there. Um, yeah. Still, even when she's literally, this is the worst echo I've, I've ever seen. Like, she's got zero cover here, honestly. Like, she should be playing, like, even by these pillars over here. Maybe even using this, right? Um, yeah, just tell tell the echo. Um, you need. The thing yeah. is, this oh. is a master scrim. <laughs> Yeah, this is That's crazy. the crazy like, part. Yeah, yeah, like you miss that shot onto the owner there, the echo's flying like, willy nilly, it doesn't care about your sight lines. Yeah, this is crazy. Um, and you die to a solo Winston dive. Yeah, it's rough. Okay, so like, okay, this shot here. That bothers the hell out of me. It's like Overwatch 1, that's dead. Yeah, yeah. Like, you fall so oh. away, so you get the kill. Um, in terms of the. Advantage, I wasn't even damage boosted either. Uh, was she looking at you? I don't. She shouldn't be looking at you. She shouldn't be expecting this. Yeah, no, she's. Well, not Widowmaker right. wasn't, but uh, yeah, yeah. So I like, wasn't damage boosted when that happened. So like, it, it's mm, so annoying that mm. that works like that now. Yeah, that's really sad. Like you were eighty percent charge, I think. She's got one seventy-five. That should have been a kill there. Unfortunate. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, the peak is good, though, right? Because, again, l the Widow was looking at the father, right? or these guys, and not at you. Right? This is what I was saying about the repositional advantage. She doesn't know where you are. Right? And now, after you land the shots, right, say your honor doesn't get the kill, now you'll be looking to move. Um, I think Mana does get the kill. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, right now, like, if you had Grapple, um, I'd probably be moving... I'd probably stay here, honestly. Um, or even grapple up to here, right? And then look to get a sight onto the into the echo. Nice sight line onto her. And she can't hide, right? Um, so yeah, look to get some early damage onto her. Um, and yeah. I think Winston Winston doesn't kill us here, but he's uh, definitely very low and we're coming. I don't know why okay, why aren't you rotating to high ground here? Is my, my oh. number one question. Well I didn't want to get dove up there. <laughs> Cause like like where my diva's at, like she's nowhere near me. She would have to use her boosters to get to me, and even then, she probably wouldn't even make it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My um, bar is, can't help me. Like when inside the bubble, even granted, I mean, not yeah. even diva, but even after the jump, though, like you see the Winston uses jump, you see his, his, his HP yeah. is low, you see him anti. Like I would be jumping over here right now. Right, um, just keep the range, okay. and then you can even see this echo here too. She she doesn't give a fuck about you. Um. Again, she like again tell but like if you are up here, right, you just body shot with the echo. Or right? maybe you don't even need the headshot, body shot her, just SMG her to finish her off, and she's dead. Um so so I don't I'm I'm yeah, I I think you should have voted, that's a high girls. And maybe if you're like she's literally one HP right now, so you you you're probably gonna land the kill here on her anyways, but if you were up here, um you probably save your follower, alright, and then maybe this fight is still winnable. Um yeah, she don't you actually don't land the body shot onto her. Um, your, your diva finishes the kill, but yeah. It was drops on top of you, right? And yeah, yeah not great, not great. Um, that grapple, you Could were actually been... saving grapple to escape, and you end up not even doing that in the first place. Yeah, I don't even know how, like, it didn't hit the floor, and when it did hit the floor, it hit the corner. Yeah, so, yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, man. I will say that, like, if you're up here, then do expect a Winston to dive you, but... Um, especially, especially in team environments, your team should not let you die to a solo Winston dive. Like, that, sh that shouldn't be happening. Um, and also, um, be wary of the impact damage from jump and the melee. Um, it can, it will literally half your HP if, you, if that, if it hits you perfectly. Um, so I would be kiting early if you see a Winston jumping you. Just to fuck up his, uh, his, his jump. Um, and retreat early back. Um, but yeah. I think I get rezzed. I don't think I walk from spawn. How much damage do you take it from the, the jump? Uh, 41, 35, 95, 54, right? Like you went from 131 to 54 HP, right? From the, the jump plus melee combo. Um, so like as soon as you see, you see you see or hear the Winston jump onto you, you need to be moving, right? Because that's a hot, that's basically 100, 100 burst damage. Um, so yeah. You need to get burst down, yeah. Unfortunate. I do walk. Hmm. You can see like how much the more the water maker's doing compared to you, right? Um, but mainly because you're not rotating to good positions, even though you killed the water maker early on. Um, so yeah. Well, that water maker's popping off. I can't lie. Okay. Yeah. Diva bomb this. Okay. Shots. Yeah. Way good. Probably personally, I would have rotated to hit earlier, especially after your diva bomb well, bombs, um, because ev everyone's gonna be looking at the, the diva bomb, not thinking about you jumping to here or grappling mm -hmm. to here, right? And then maybe you kill the on here too as well. Um, so yeah. Not to mention, the earlier you, you use your grapple, the the quicker you'll have it back and cool down. So why do you cite? Why do you cite this? Truthfully, I don't. I think it's because she uses it as well, and I didn't want my team to be oh, at a okay. disadvantage. Also, yeah. like I didn't want to be at the disadvantage in the one v one. I will say this though: like your diva's getting demeked right now. Should either sh should your team push this? Uh, God Forget no. Sites. <laughs> yeah, 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 actually, exactly. Right, God no. <laughs> no, they shouldn't. Right. So, like I, w I would save my sights here. Don't push this because your diva is literally demeked, and the Winston's using primal. So just don't use sight to her at all. Just S key out and then wait for your diva to come back. She should probably kill herself or jump off the map um, to get mech back. And then you push back in with sights. Right? The only time you'd be matching sights is if you're like pushing, you both teams are pushing in and it's a 5v5. Um, but yeah, like right now, like, forget sights, you'd be S keying out anyways. 
Um, so yeah. Plus, if your team does the sights, especially in scrims, that's on them. Um, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, I mean, you get back that on, it's just so... Oh! How is this oh, man. man? On some other games, shoot, like, the supports were literally heal-botting, bro. I don't I do not know how this was a master scrim. And I looked at their profiles, and they were masters, but it's like... I don't understand how. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah, man, scrimflation. The, 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 the dread of scrimflation. I've been having it, too. Like, I've been... My team, I've been... Like, we scrimmed the 3.8k team the other day. They were dog shits. Mm -hmm. Um, like we rolled yeah. them, we, yeah, we literally spawned them, so I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, because sometimes you can get the, the teams of, like, when you scrim, you get teams of, like, 4k SR or the same SR, um, and they, they, their performance will be drastically differently, um, in terms of how they play and you know, the quality of their play. Um, this is just terrible, I don't know what she's doing. Um, okay, if I'm this on right now, I'm telling you, like, don't, first of all, don't be aware of sites, right? But also, rotate your left side and look for an aid. Um, but yeah, I don't know what she's doing there. Can't lie. Good that you got the kill though. You probably wouldn't have gone it without sights. Um, because you, you wouldn't know you wouldn't have known she's there. So yeah. Need to get the most out of it. Oh, okay. Your far barge is there. Yay. Yeah. So so far, it's mainly been again looking to rotate left side. Um, and then small things like Infosites and then Venomine here too. Um, but yeah, rotating okay. to here and then also SKing out early on, uh, retreating early, um, when the Winston jumps onto you to, to avoid that damage. Because you just can't, on a hero that has no, no less than 200 HP, you cannot be taking, uh, 80 damage worth of burst damage. It just can't, it can't be happening. Um, so yeah. It can almost feel like again, getting by Winston because he's got like this... Like when he's before he's about to land onto you, he can zap you from like 10 meters away, and then he lands the the jump pack plus, plus melee combo. Um, so yeah. But also that comes onto your team as well. Like your Mercy should be peeling you, your Orange should be peeling you, your Diva should be peeling you. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh man. I... We don't talk about oh, that. Oh man. Like this, oh man. The thing is, like, this is a good rotation here too, because like your Diva's yeah. playing main, trying to get mech. I don't know what she's doing actually. actually. Um, I don't know why she's not back into mech. Um, but yeah, this is a good rotation, right? So... It was default, just take your time. Like, if I'd have just waited half a second literally, longer... Literally. She's standing still! <laughs> and I yeah. shot and she unscoped because she's like, oh shit, he could see me. <laughs> oh yeah. man. Yeah, really unfortunate. I was crying when I have it, but I do, I mean, I do dip her here, but... Mm. Yeah. Like, don't, don't repeat this, don't repeat this, don't repeat this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> like, you know, she, like, she should she should know that you're here now. She either, I, I don't actually have to make, I don't know if she killed me here. I think she, either I kill her or she kills me. I can't, yeah. Don't repeat okay, that, that again. Don't repeat that again. I mean, the only time you should no, no, she kills me. Yeah, she kills me. She kills me. Oh, oh, oh no, never mind. That is... Yeah, fine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dog. The only time we should be peeking this is when the diva flies onto her, right? Yeah. Like that's the only time because she's gonna be looking at the diva, not oh, you. Man. So you I actually turned this way too early here. Fuck me, it's crazy. And she, I think she had boost there too. Yep. <laughs> she didn't. She just didn't hit the headshot. She hit the body shot. I'm assuming. Uh. Yeah, body shot. Yeah, man. Damn. <laughs> that's uh, that's an example of being out mechanic there because there's no way yeah. you should win that. Like. It's bad, <laughs> There's it's no way in hell I should have won that. <laughs> bad timing, um, plus no minus of pockets, plus uh, she knows so it's not it's scouted, so she knows who that. Um, the big thing is, um, I've exactly only been with this team for less than a week, so like I'm not, you know, to, for like communications, we've definitely improved the the past three scrims because like again I'm new here. Mm. Um, but gameplay wise, it's I mean the tank one, he's he's been uh, more of a DPS player for the past, from what I've been told, a while. And he's finally getting back in the tank, so like I know that this team isn't you know perfect yet, so I'm not expecting you know communications and actions to be you know, of course yeah GM level, but um, we do like when we're actually communicating, things actually happen. But mm -hmm. then when uh, like that was just a miscommunication on all our ends, like we weren't really talking, and I did kill her, but that was still very very risky. And, like I knew that, mm -hmm. but it's like if I land the shot, then we win. If I miss the shot, then that's just me getting diffed. Like. You know, that's just me being ego. Yeah, but this is ego. Right that's now. just me egoing and then me missing. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the thing I've learned with his game. Like, if you have an ego, if you're going to have an ego, you better hit your shots. Mm, mm. 
I agree. Um, especially if you're gonna if you're gonna do crazy shit, you gotta be able to win them. Mm. Um, for sure. I don't. I think I kill the widow every time from here on. Oh boy. So I don't think that I. I don't think that I die to anything else except maybe the widow once. I. I don't, I don't know. I'm not really 100 percent on this game, but. So the next two rounds, uh, if you want to know, um, the next one we win and I'm playing Sombra. Um, then the one after that we lose. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, the third map, I don't even think it's worth looking at because it's just, like, even as a team, we were all like, yeah, we were just fucking feeding. Because um, yeah. there wasn't communications. And then when we did take point control for, like, half a second, we we just miscommunicated and then nothing happened. Sure. Yeah. Of, like, just, we just lost everything. So, like, if you want to skip that round, 100%. Don't under, I understand if you want. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not really worth talking worries, about. Yeah. Um, so like here, honestly, there's not been too much to say here. Free fights. Um, I'd actually be standing up here first off because yeah. like you just get a better angle. Like you could be landing again early damage onto the Winston and onto the Echo. They're both full HP right now. Um, well, and Winston's close to full HP. He's missing some armor, but yeah, it could be definitely landing some chinks into him or onto the Echo here too. Um, yeah. Okay. It's like here, I'm not gonna lie, like this 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 just isn't your start line. So you're probably not gonna die yeah. here because of vaults and you've got mercy here. Um but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Your your forward just carries that. Okay. Wasted nano. Mm. Like even as like even though I don't play support anymore, it's very tragic to watch people waste it. Yeah, just... I get you I get what you mean, yeah. Um, so you're here, yeah, you play Sombra here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See your comp. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're here for a while, you might, yeah, you guys. Actually, no, I roll out on Tracer first. So. Because we were, we're, we're, we're running, well, he was running Hog. Hog, just to pull him in the, just to pull him in the hole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, um, but then they were running Sombra, and that became a problem very, very quickly. Uh, okay. Especially since, oh, yeah, you're gonna... <laughs> So yeah, I, I do play Jason often, or...? Well, I do, but I, I was, it's not like... I'm not a one-trick, so like, I can't just tell you that, oh yeah, I have perfected my blink management, because I have it. I will say that from then to now, like the last time we did a Trace Survivor review, I've definitely improved, but this game is not a representation of that, because okay. it's just... Yeah. It's not a perfect representation of me doing that. Um, mm -hmm. I do have some moments where I waste all my blinks and I'm standing like a dumbass. Uh, I won't deny it, like, it just happens. Yeah, yeah. Especially since, like, it's not the Tracer's, like, it's not she's complicated on paper. It's just that when you're actually trying to go against people that are also very good on their characters, Tracer's just normally at a very big disadvantage because they're helpful. Mm -hmm. But, um, that plus the higher you go, the better everybody's aim is. So, hitting a 150 HP target isn't that hard. Yeah, I, I it's was, just your job yeah. to make it hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna say to that, like, Having a Kiriko here, like you'll see it again every single time in the Overwatch League, it's very, very common for Tracer Kiriko to be a thing. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, like honestly, and Hog has like so much to stay in here too. Um, even like, when he's anti like this, like again, worst case scenario, your Kiriko just TPs back and suits him. Um, I think so. There is theory behind your comp here, like you've kind of got like two little, like three little squads. Um, Hog by himself, the pharmacy, and then you and the, the, the you and the Kiriko. Um, but yeah, like if you're playing here with Kiriko here, um. Yeah, this would be great. You almost get the one clip because she's zoned out, but yeah, if you're with Kiriko here, one kunai and she's dead. Um, and not to mention she can suzu you if you get slept, things like that too. Okay, good. Well timed there too, because your Twitter hog was taking aggro, so yeah, well timed, and it was, it was good position there too, so nothing much to say. Yeah, I was telling my Fire player that like, the, in the Echo versus Fire matchup, the Echo is more likely to win. It's just her burst damage is much, much for higher. Sure, for sure, yeah. Uh, especially if she's getting help. It's just, it's ridiculous. I'm so pissed that that monkey never dies. Like, wow. I just, I just clipped him and clipped him and he just never died. He's literally 1 HP right now. <laughs> yeah, that's really unlucky. Um, what happens to your teammate though? I'm, I'm curious. Um, the Echo, Far um, the Farah and the Mercy die to the Echo of Mercy. That's not and then my hog, uh, I think my hog gets hacked, so he can't use his health. He just mm. dies as well to the... Yeah. I think he dies, he, he might get pushed out, I don't know. Yeah, Echo Mercy will be a far, a far Mercy unless you're always on. Um, yeah. That's how it is. <laughs> and she gets sacked there too, yeah, I'm not great. Um, yeah, unfortunately. That's why I swapped her. Yeah, if you want to skip ahead a little bit, I mean, I don't play Tracer for more. 
I don't even think I get a pulse bomb with it. I think I just automatically split, which because I get hacked sense. and I'm like, yeah, that's not worth me sitting there trying to play that into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was somewhere here. Um, honestly, it's a bit more complex, but like again, you're just kind of gonna be doing the same job here. You've got more verse or play styles. I will say that's so you can be farming mm. up the Winston from afar. Um, and because these guys are running relatively short range dive, um, again looking to get hacks from just a range and then looking to spam with your Uzi. Um, we'll see how you place the translocator if it's too far. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm gonna be honest. I found their translocator so many times, but they never found mine. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's just not like not looking through the map, or. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, how where do you throw? You throw? How do you throw it? The right. Here. Yeah, it's relatively far back. Like, I don't. I doubt they're gonna be looking for it. Um, or I doubt that someone's gonna be like hard, hard, hard looking for it. Um. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, timing here. Um, honestly, I think it's a slightly early. Like, I think your father um, isn't in um, an aggressive enough position right now. Um, you also Diva, like, taking space that much. So I think the, ta the attack here is a little bit early. Um, I just wanted to make them look. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Even okay. if I did, like, I wasn't going to uncloak. Mainly because, like, I just wanted them to, like, oh, shit. Okay, yeah, fair I'm enough. I'm on someone. <laughs> so, I this, think... This is good here, right? So you force the Williamson to jump back, and you hack him on the HP. Yeah. Um, what's the biggest issue here, though? Um, stand out in the open. Yeah, yeah, right. Here, here, right, you just LOS the, the fucking Echo entirely, and then you can still yeah. farm the, the Winston, right? Um, and you can see the damage you take it. Right, 200 to 166. You take 34 damage that you could have, like, saved. Right, and I say this to, um, Sombra's, but, like, Sombra, honestly, hasn't got that much mobility. Like, obviously, she has, like, Translocator, um, and in Invis, but, like, none of those are uh, mobility options she can use when actually fighting. So it's really, yeah. really important that you play range when you can, and you also use cover when you can. Um, so, yeah. Because with Tracer, you can, you know, blink around and do that shit, but, like, with Sombra, you can't. Um, so, yeah. Like, even here, even here. You actually see the Sombra, right? So, like, I, I'd be S King out and then playing here, and then looking to, like, jewel out the Sombra, shoot this, like, spam, and make sure she can't get the health back. Um, yeah, I'll just be playing Vayne here and playing cover. Um, yeah. So, you're completely out in open space, so you're gonna get your chance forced, right? Um, so, yeah. when Whenever you're playing out in open space, and or you're playing in close, close range when you can't or you don't need to, your op time's gonna be worse, right? Whereas if you were, like, literally... Like here, or you were here, or S King out. Um, you would have been farming up the Winston constantly if he chose if he decided yeah. to, decide to chase you. Um, so yeah, target policy there wasn't bad, and neither was the timing there. But again, just a little bit of micro with uptime because you're literally AFK for like most of this fight. Like your father is doing the hard work here. Um, yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be bothering with this. With this. Just shoot the Winston. Or even shoot the mercy, like literally get out of invis and shoot the mercy. You're so far out of range, um, that like it's just, it's just not worth it for the for uh, going for the hack here. Like literally, like all this time. Imagine if you spent like the next the last five seconds just shooting, them, like poking away <laughs> yeah. at, the, at the at the mercy. Like, but the shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'd be dead. She'd be dead. Like, like right there, she'd be dead. <laughs> literally, like she's li literally like 50, yep. 60 HP ish. Um, you could have landed that. You could have landed that, that, that damage early on. I don't always be tunneled on, onto getting the hack. Um, yeah, the same thing kind of applies to um, if you're trying to, if you're in invis and you're sneaking up on a Widowmaker, don't bother with the hack. Just literally like invis out, and then because the 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 the, the Widowmaker is standing out in the open, you can just blitz her completely. Um, so so yeah. Because by the time if you're if you're going on on a uh, Widowmaker who's scoped in, by the time that you get the hack off, she's going to be dodging and juking and things like that. Um, so yeah. Okay. Just don't but don't bother. Just shoot him. Shoot his ass. He's one HP. Right? Like. Yeah. I know, I just wanted to make sure that he like he stayed where he was at. I mean I know that he I knew that he had ult. I just didn't want to, I wanted to make sure he couldn't use it. Well actually honestly, you like... probably want him to use it there because then you farm up EMP and he's in he's in like a one V four. Um oh, so, that's true. yeah. 
I mean, I know that Primal's not necessarily the best ult in the game. It's definitely very bad. <laughs> it, it's got its uses, but mm-hmm. yeah, compared to other like other tank ults, it's not that great. Yeah, I try. I do in the pack in their mega because like I want to make sure that they can't take megas. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I will say that here though. Um, the timing from your team is way off. Uh, what's your diva? She's getting okay. Do you guys bomb here then? Let's engage. So you diva bomb. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, there's no way you far should get away with this. Um, <laughs> like, you've got no DM, there's no pressure coming from you, right? Like, you'd love to be, like, actually, you tell me, where would you love to be here? On, I, probably on high. Yeah, like, right? Yeah, somewhere um, on here. Somewhere here. Um, so ha- so just, like, have an angle, like, be there when the fire barrages, because every single person in their, like, every single person and their mother are going to be looking at the fire in one barrages. Um, so the same thing with your diva here too, like, I don't know, the, mis- this, the miscommunication that goes on here, um, but your diva needs to be in mech so she can DM the farer, so to prevent things like sleep and nade and damage and things like that, because right now there's a hack plus echo spam and she's dead, right, so, yeah, um, and again, you'd love to be here, right, because this is literally, everyone's looking at the farer, right, whereas you're busy, you know, doing whatever you are, whatever it is you're doing, like, you're, you're busy hacking your mini, so, yeah, yeah. And surprise, surprise, she dies. I am actually shocked that she gets the kills here um, onto the enemy team, but yeah. Now you're here, now you're here, right? But you should have been here like five seconds yeah. ago. Right now, I see this all the time with dive teams. Um, the solution is um, to call what you're doing, right? Like if the fire wants to say, I want a barrage, say, okay, guys, I want a barrage. And then you could be like, no, wait, okay, you and Diva can be like, wait, I'm getting my mech back, or you, you can be like, wait, I'm getting into position, and then, you know, um, then you can, like, actually go for the dive, right? But, yeah. So, yeah, unfortunate. Bad aim. <laughs> yeah. Bad aim, and Mercy's got that big old Glock. Yeah, yeah. Again, you would, like, imagine if you, if the fire was barging right now, right? This Arna oh, has yeah. to make a choice between peeling off you and or sleeping the fire. Right, you can make that tough really, really choice for her. Uh, really, really hard for her, right? Um, so yeah. Not to mention, um, a little bit, a little bit of cover. You know, I would love you to just like play her. Right, you can yeah. still be shooting the mercy and then juggle peek, and then you're fine. Um, yeah. Also, when you're up close like this, uh, the closer you are, the harder it is to aim because every movement on your camera is a little bit more um, exacerbated. Um, so yeah. Do you kill the the honor though? The honor there though. Okay. Okay. So yeah, this you've got EMP now. This could be a good dive. Um, we'll see the coordination of this EMP. All right. And now I, the way. Okay. Maybe maybe not because your far is just getting picked here. Um, but I would love to see. Um. The diva just hardens onto the uh, onto the honor or onto the echo. Then you EMP. Um, I see tons of teams that EMP first, and the reason why I don't like that is not only can you get stunned out of it, um, but it's just also it's just generally just like a lot more risky. Um, your tank should hopefully be taking the brunt of the force, um, and then you and your fire can obviously you know be the follow up. It's like yeah, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even bother. Like I would literally just flank behind the enemy team and then just look for an opportunity to get an EMP. Um, yeah. Actually, I don't even think I use it. Um, I think I'm, uh, maybe I do, I don't know, I'm not 100%. Yeah, it depends, like, this is actually fine here, honestly. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, they're just staggering, right? Like, like, 10 seconds ago, you uh, your father just got the kill into the, uh, honor, and now you're getting a kill into an Echo, who's playing completely split against a Sombra. Um, so, yeah. Sombra flanks to, towards point, and I tell my team, don't worry about it, like, because she's already uncloaked. So I just hack her, and then mm. what is she gonna do about that? So yeah, I don't think I I don't use it until they get to point because that's when they start using stuff. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. They're literally, like I hack her, and then what? What's she gonna do? She has to either recall or she's gonna sit yeah, there and die. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I recall. And I got a mega. So she's no longer on point, which means that mm. they had now they're a little bit more like, oh shit, we got to touch. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I was thinking, um, maybe you could toss your your translocator like. Like maybe up here, right? And then you can drop down yeah. and, get, and then get mini, right? Just because it's a little, it's a little bit closer for downtime. Um, tossing it in here is a bit baked. Um, maybe hell, even in this little corner over here. Um, I don't know where LOS is. Anyone walking in? Um, could be could be an, an idea. 
Um, just like again, minimize your, your downtime. Then look, look at this run back. Like your far just kind of like does her own thing here. Um, but yeah. EMP's fine. Yeah, EMP's fine. I uh, can't even hack him, so I'll just shoot him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't hack him when he's already hacked. And again, like look at look at this big ass run back. I was if you imagine, imagine if you were here, right? Then you could just like, yeah, walk out and then two steps. Yeah, yeah and then just beam these guys. Bam right? right there. Yeah, bam. Um Okay. Yeah, so you guys win that basically. Um so yeah. Oh actually would you guys win this? Hang on. Yeah, we do. Hope. But yeah, because Far gets a nice yeah, pick yeah. on that monkey. Okay, so I hacked that. Lucio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad I was playing Summer right now because like I hate trying to fight Lucios, especially like I ain't saying that scrim team Lucios are better Lucios, but like they're typically better than comp Lucios. For they're sure. just so yeah. much harder to hit because it's like, I mean, like pretty much every map that Lucio has played on, it's because they're like the one running in that map is just super easy. Sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I think I've had that experience there too, honestly. Um, also, there's also great appeal for the Lucio there too in comp plays or, or in like, mm -hmm. you know, rather than just like normal ranks. Um, but yeah, so with um thingy here with the the, the, the three point summary. Um again I think last time I said this but I think again just a little bit more work on your mythic rotations. They have gone better. Um especially on Cassidy I've noticed. Um but whether it's on Watermaker, Cassidy or even Sombra like that rotation there with um I'll, I'll just put in underneath like Translocator. Uh, Translocator um or even on Widowmaker with Grapple there too where I feel like you were standing a bit too main much whereas you can be you could have been taking the high ground to your left. Um, and keeping that range and getting shots into the Echo or the Winston. Um, yeah, I think this is something you could definitely be working on, on all heroes, mind you. Um, yeah. Uh, as for the second thing, um, honestly, pff, hmm, I think pr I'll, I'll put down uh, cover usage slash jewels. Um, cover slash jewels. Like, we saw there on both Sombra and Cassidy how cover affected your uptime. Or not just your yeah. uptime, but also your livelihood too. Um, and also, jewel, when I say jewels, I mean um, just ego peaking, essentially. Um, and yeah. knowing like when a jewel is in your favor or not, because that I'm not going to lie, like you kind of out mechanic that would make her, and you had a bad, you like again, you missed some easy shots onto her, and you missed some <laughs> easy shots onto the honor there too. But you still out mechanic her. Um, even though, you know, she had pockets, she knew where you were, um, things like that, so, yeah, like, I would just decrease the ego jewels, especially, especially in, in, in um, in comp scrim games, like, just, just don't do it, it's, it's not worth it, um, yeah. yeah, I will also add on, I didn't talk about this, but an another advantage is just tank pressure, or tank attention, like, it's fine to re-peak the same angle, as long as a D.Va, or a Doomfist, or a Winston, or, like, any tank in the game is sitting directly on top of that hero, um, so I'll just put a tank attention, right, um, I think if you go, like, when, when the Widowmaker body shot you and you you lived with the pockets, um, the Dean yeah. was flying in, right? If you just peek that, like, two seconds later, it's all good. Um, so yeah, just a little bit, a little bit of, of timing there. Um, and then last thing, uh, let me think. I mean, across, I'm just thinking about across the all three heroes. Um, I mean, these two apply to Cassidy and Sombra. Um, I'll probably say... Um, I think as for your, as as for as a team, I'd probably be saying timing as a team. Um, I'll put team in brackets. Uh, team uh, brackets there. Um, because again, like especially like that far barrage there, that should not have been a thing. Um, and yeah. again, especially if you guys if you guys are gonna keep playing this like Arab comp or this um uh this this dive comp here, this poke dive comp, then timing's gonna be really really important. Um, because right now, like, you sh your far should not be getting two-man barrages, um, when your D.Va is getting, when you, you, when you, when you as Sombra aren't in position, and your D.Va hasn't got a mech, like, that should not be happening. Um, so yeah, and then again, like, just saying, like, what you're doing, like, who's ready or not, and saying wait if you're not ready, um, things like that, just basic communication structure. Um, but yeah, any questions? I think that answers them all. Well, yo, well, hey, thank you. I mean, no worries. <laughs> Um, I will yeah, stop.